Hello everyone, my name is Roy Donoso and I have the pleasure of presenting the proposal for the Sumac Jupiter team for the Laramie State Bank site. Sumac is one of the largest building sustainability and energy efficiency consulting firms in the Americas. With over 89 million square feet of certified green buildings, we have offices, staff, and work in the United States, Mexico, Colombia, Ecuador, Peru, Chile, and Argentina. Besides our consulting work, we also provide architecture, construction management services, and real estate development services. Jupiter is a very well-known private real estate development investment and real estate management firm based in Chicago that was founded in 1985. I'm sure you're familiar with their work, not only in Chicago, but in other cities throughout the United States. With a track record that expands over 35 years, Jupiter brings the experience needed for this type of development. SUMAC has a wide range of experience in certified sustainable buildings. We have worked on office buildings, residential buildings, industrial buildings, retail, etc. Here you can see some of the highlights of our work in raw square feet numbers. As you can see, Jupiter has plenty of experience in real estate development, not only in Illinois and in Chicago, but all throughout the United States. You can see here some of their stats for office buildings, parking garages, rental apartments, residential condos, etc. As an example of our current ongoing work, I have the pleasure of showing you now the Geneva Apartments project. This is a joint effort of Sumac Jupiter. It is a new building, mixed use, in the suburb of Geneva, Illinois. And the project consists on 61 bedroom rental apartments with commercial on the ground floor. This building has the advantage of being right next to a metro commuter train station which makes it very accessible and easy to get to the city of Chicago. The project size is roughly 87,000 square feet and the development cost is a little over $50 million. This project is currently ongoing and should be finished within the next 18 months or so. In regards to our organizational chart, you can see that we plan to have the Sumac Jupiter LLC as the developer of the project, which will create a special purpose entity for the project, which would be overseeing the work from the design team, which would be work done by SUMEC, as well as the construction team. We currently work with a number of well-established and well-known GCs in the Chicago area, which could be potentially part of our team, as well as equity investors that currently help us on other projects. We believe that we have all the different angles that are needed for this project well covered and that we can bring this project to a successful completion. As a minority business firm, we are very excited about the opportunity to have a Latino business involved in the execution of this project. As you can see, we're certified with all the major agencies in the city of Chicago and in the state and of course, we plan to have a fully diverse team, not only from the design side, but also in the execution of the project. In regards to the general description of the project, what we're proposing for this site is to add a volume adjacent to the existing building and have it connected internally. So you have the connection between the old and the new so they blend together into a single form. To go into the specifics, as you can see here, on the level one, we would have 68 parking spaces, commercial spaces, a community gallery, and a building lobby. In the second level, we would have 18 apartment units and community space. The third level, we will have 23 apartment units. In the fourth level, we also have 23 apartment units. And at the roof level, we would have a terrace and a roof deck with green areas and social spaces. 
in regards to the design description or design narrative, I would really like for you to read how is it that we're describing, but in what I can tell you is that a main feature that we see in our proposal is to have natural light and natural ventilation inside the inner volume of the project. We see that we can connect, as I said before, the old with the new without having to let go of the existing identity of the building and combining the two facades to join them into a very attractive, useful and successful building. Regarding the environmental goals, given that the main premise of SUMAC Jupiter is to be a sustainable business and having all our projects fall within the parameters of sustainability and energy efficiency, we aspire to have this building as a LEED certified, LEED silver certified building. Um, we have done this many, many times and we don't see a problem with this at all. In regards to the community goal, we intend to have community spaces on the level one as well as in level two. Here you can see a project rendering of our vision of what would the site be. Here you can see the site plan and what we're referring when we talk about this natural ventilation and natural light coming into the building. In our massing diagram, you can also see how this well will help us in the ventilation and the lighting of the building, as well as integrating both buildings, the old one and the new one. For the first floor, you can see the distribution that we're proposing. I will let you browse through this. In this second floor floor plan, you can see the community meeting hall how generous it is and how by being in the corner and having that void will create a very pleasant welcoming space for any activities. In the third floor, you can see how the units surround this open space that carries through the building. The same for the fourth floor plan. To cap it off, at the roof level, we see the roof garden and how these pathways will allow you to walk around the building, the old and the new, and feel it as one space joined together. Here we can see the typical unit layout. Here we can see the different areas for each one of the floors and their different uses. Here we can see general elevations of the proposed building expansion and the original building. With this, we conclude our presentation. We hope that everything was clear and that you liked what we have to propose for this site. If you have any comments or questions or would like to receive any information, please do not hesitate to contact us. We thank you again for this opportunity and hope to be in touch with you soon. Thank you again. Bye-bye.